Going back to Halloween night, 2001, Columbia Tribune's sports editor Kent Heitholt was leaving his workplace when he was attacked. Hit over the head and strangled with his own belt. Police found Heitholt dead in the parking lot. The murder went unsolved for more than two years until March 10th, 2004, when Chuck Erickson turned himself in. I can't recollect, I and mean, it's just a trip for me to have to sit here and try to look at something that happened that I've read about and try to base what well, I, mean, I remember off of that. That same day, Erickson also implicated his friend Ryan Ferguson in the murder. I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do to get the lesser sentence. If I go to jail for the rest of my life for something I didn't do, right. so be it. I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do. Erickson testified against Ferguson in 2005. On October 21, 2005, the jury found Ryan Ferguson guilty of second-degree murder and first-degree robbery. The judge sentenced him to a total of 40 years. Erickson got 15. We're absolutely shocked and uh, it was very devastating. Ferguson believes Ryan's representation failed to call key witnesses. He's the last man to see Mr. Highholt alive. And I think at Detective School 101, the first thing you do is you investigate the last person to see him alive. We are back in the Jefferson City Correctional Center. This is the fourth time that I've come to meet Ryan Ferguson. I met him the first time when he was 21 years of age. He just turned 28, and boy, has he changed over the years. Ryan, I'm Erin Moriarty, and I'm with CBS News 48 Hours. I think you yes, my parents were are expecting me to come today. Yes. Ryan has grown up here. Hi, good seeing you. He's good. Interviews no longer make him nervous. He not only knows me, he knows my 48 hour colleagues who work behind the scenes. Our cameraman is allowed to follow Ryan in the nearby hallway as he's brought to us. We've done this a lot. And one thing is always the same. After the interview, Ryan is once again taken away. The big question at this point is just how many more years will I be coming to see Ryan Ferguson while he's still behind bars? I lied and said I, I remember things I didn't remember. My testimony was false. And they started telling me, well, we're going to put your head on a chopping block, which to me basically tells me I'm going to be executed. So, I don't want to die. You know, knowing that uh, I, did, I did the wrong thing. Do you anticipate or want anything for doing this? Yes. I'd like to have forgiveness. Right. 